Hey everybody, this is Chris with Liquid Rock Aquatics, and what I've got today is I'm showing you how I make up my fin benzol treatment from goat dewormer so I can treat my aquariums. And a lot of people use the Panicure C for dogs, but um, you have to dissolve it. But this is Safe Guard Goat Dewormer. And that's probably upside down and backwards in the video. Anyway, it's finbendazole, uh, 10%. It says 100 milligrams per milliliter. And what we're going to do is basically dilute that down by, or dilute it 10 times so we have 10 milligrams per milliliter. Because we want to put in uh, 10 milliliters, or 1 milliliter per gallon. Yeah. That's it. One milliliter per gallon is what I use in the tank. I had to think about that one for a minute. Because I don't just do this all willy-nilly. Because you do not want to overdose your uh, tank on finbendazole. Because you could potentially kill a bunch of stuff. Potentially. I haven't done it, but I know I've seen plenty of other videos where people have lost plecos, lost uh, snails, all kinds of stuff. I didn't lose any snails when I did it, but I did kill off all the hydra and the planaria that had gotten my tank from me smashing all the snails, which that was a fun trick. I smashed all the snails and then I got hydra because of it. All the meat floating around in there, it just made a bad situation. That's the safety seal. This is completely unopened and I've been shaking this. You want to make sure that you shake this. And then you can set it to the side while you get your other stuff ready. Shake it again before you use it. Now, what I've got to measure, this is a 12cc syringe. Does not come with a needle, so you have to buy needles. Um, and I can't find any of them that are just the plastic ones, so here's what I did. I prepped this one already. This one has an aluminum hub, but this is a 16 gauge needle, inch and a half long. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I took a pair of uh, wire snips and very carefully cut halfway through the bevel of that needle. It's kind of hard to see, but because I don't want that sharp tip on there. Because if you have a really sharp tip, it can go right through this bottle. And I'm going to be putting this down there to draw it up. So here is one needle. This one's going on this syringe. I just kind of push and twist it on there. This one's for water. That's why I've got the big syringe here. And I'm just going to stick the cover back on it there a little bit. Now, for the other one, I've got a three milliliter syringe. Now, this little tiny needle that it comes with, show it here. You know, if you were getting a shot, you'd probably want that. But since we're just measuring, I don't. So take that needle, set it to the side. Got a new needle here. Just so I can show you in real time. This one. That one's got the sharp tip and the, you know, all the way, you can see it all the way down the bevel. And normally that's how you would do injections is put the bevel in. But since we're not doing that, we don't want it. And I'm going to go. halfway. I'm covering my hand around this so it doesn't go flying because I don't want this little tiny piece of metal flying all over the house. And you can see kind of that little tip right there. It's still in there. But you only clip the tip. If you clip it up here you'll crunch your whole needle down because it's hollow and it's no good. Now this one this one it screws in to that little hub right there. So make sure you screw that one. And that one is what we're gonna to use to drop the finbendazole, the goat dewormer. Now you have to have a uh, container that you wanna be able to keep sealed. And I don't have this one written on yet. I'm doing this after the video. But, and this one is a water bottle that just happens to have a uh, flip top cap. And the reason I use that is because I have 
used a pipette and then flipped it upside down because it's a real tight seal because it I mean you can really jam it in there so that's why I use this bottle I just found that it works good but I use a pipette to measure because this thing I can reach all the way down and I don't have to worry about messing with the needles again because a pipette will get me close real close because once it's diluted it's not nearly as strong but you can see the graduation marks on there this is 10 milliliters uh, more importantly for our uses uh, if i was measuring it water into this i would be using a nine mill milliliter mark but we're going to use a syringe so i have distilled water i have a bottle set that right there this is for the medication, this is for the water. So, like I said, shake it up really good. And if I say it 50 times, it's because it's important. This stuff settles out really bad and it'll cake into the bottom. Whatever you mix up will not be right, unless it's all dissolved. All right, now decide how much solution you wanna make. I want to make 60 milliliters of solution. So I'm going to start with six milliliters of the finbendazole. Now right, you should draw it up. Now it'll have a little bit of an air bubble in there. I'm trying to squirt it all over the dining room here. Now, I got the air out and you can see I'm not quite at three milliliters. And this is important. That's why I use a syringe. That's right at three milliliters. Don't try to get every little drop out of the hollow needle because right now this is still full of liquid. But it means your second time that you draw it up, you don't have to sit there and screw around with the air bubble also at three milliliters again. Now, if you want to get the little bit back out, put it in your container, suck a little air up, and maybe you can get it out. Maybe it's done for. I'm throwing this away because I'm not going to use this one again because it'll probably cake some stuff up inside the needle and it's no good for me. And these are like 60 cents. So it's worth it to not have a fight in the future. Now this, we're making 60 milliliters. You want nine milliliters of water for every one milliliter of the dewormer. So we need a total of 54, or if you wanna keep it simple, get nine milliliters six times. And we're just gonna do that. Get our air out of here. Since this is just water, I don't worry if a couple drops go somewhere. Okay, here's our first nine. Number two. Number three. Four. Five. And six. Now, if you were to add your finbendazole and then put 10 milliliters of water in, on top of it for each mil of the coat dewormer, you would end up, like if I'd done this that way, I would have had 66 milliliters. It would have been slightly weaker than it should have been. And you have to compensate for that when you mix it up. If you don't know any better, just don't make the mistake and just say, I'm gonna add a little extra 
just to be sure, whether it's the concentrate or whether it's in your tank. Don't do that. You're better off taking an extra couple of days of treatment than too much and killing everything. So I am saving this one. This one was just water. But now I have a total of 60 milliliters. And I'm just going to reach all the way down with the pipette. Now, if I'm going to treat my 20 long, now you can draw quite a bit up in this. I just draw more than I need. Go down. There's four, three, two. As soon as I let off the bubble, it sucks air back up in there. That is our two milliliters. We are going to put one milliliter of diluted solution of this solution, one mil per 10 gallons. And I have not had fish deaths with this. That's not saying it won't happen. You use this at your own risk. But I found this the easiest way because it works better than every other dewormer that I've used. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I would still check out some other people's videos, but I mean, as far as treatment and everything else goes, that's on you guys, but this is my method of mixing it up to get the right concentration and not have issues with it. So I hope this helps. You guys have a good night or day or whatever.